I'm Patrick Byers, Horticulture Field Specialist with University of Missouri Extension, and along with Ramon Arancibia, also Horticulture Field Specialist with University of Missouri Extension, today we're going to discuss managing freeze and frost damage with strawberry. Strawberries can be damaged from midwinter cold or the blossoms can be damaged from spring frost. And let's first turn our attention to damage from midwinter cold. Keep in mind that strawberry plants are not extremely hardy when unprotected. And in fact, temperatures below 20 degrees Fahrenheit can cause bud and crown damage. Keep in mind too, the damage is worse when cold temperatures follow warm periods during the winter. Some degree of protection is afforded by snow cover, but it's a common cultural practice to protect strawberries by mulching or otherwise placing protective layers over the plants during the winter. If we've had temperatures that we feel may have damaged strawberries from midwinter cold, it's a useful exercise to evaluate plant quality. Collect several plants. Uh, you want to collect cultivars separately. Take the plants, gently shake the soil off the roots, and then slice the crowns vertically and observe the cross section. Now this needs to be done quickly because as soon as you slice the tissue, it will begin to brown. But an undamaged strawberry crown will be uniformly light in color. Looking at the lower picture, a damaged crown will have darkened areas. And particularly if the areas are as dark as this picture indicates, it's likely that significant damage has occurred to that strawberry plant from midwinter cold. Now let's turn our attention to damage from spring frosts. Strawberries blossom well before the last expected spring frost, and this is a risk every year with strawberry production. Keep in mind that strawberry flowers become more sensitive to freezing temperatures as the blossoms advance in development. For example, a plant where the blossoms are internal, they can't be seen with the eye, those buds are hardy to at least 10 degrees Fahrenheit. As the buds become visible, but they're still closed, then they become damaged by increasingly warmer temperatures, 22 to 27 degrees Fahrenheit. Open flowers are susceptible to damage at 30 degrees Fahrenheit or below, and the small green fruit are hardy to about 28 degrees Fahrenheit. It's helpful to assess damage from spring frosts. Uh, the part of the strawberry blossom that is most sensitive to cold temperatures are the pistils and the receptacle. And unfortunately, this is the portion of the blossom that would develop into a fruit. So after freezing temperatures, upon observation, if the pistils and the receptacle are brown or black, as we see in the upper picture, it's likely that that blossom has been damaged and will not develop into a fruit. Damage is apparent fairly quickly after freezing temperatures, certainly within two to five days. Thank you, Patrick. So now we're going to talk about protected system for freeze protection in strawberries. What is normally used is a row covers, straw mulch, and sometimes both. And also growers uh, produce strawberries in high tunnels and greenhouses during the winter to protect against cold temperatures. In the case of row covers, usually are thick row covers, 1.5 or more ounces per square yard. Used as a low tunnels or floating blankets, mostly as a floating blankets, as you see in the bottom right picture. What it does is reduce evaporative cooling and heat loss. It can be combined with sprinkler irrigation to increase protection. Protecting field strawberries against hard freezes in midwinter is done with a thick row cover or a thick layer of straw mulch or a combination of both. These pictures show the dead foliage of uncovered plants in the field. Likely crown damage is significant. On the left uh, picture, you can see uncovered as well as covered plants with the row cover removed. Most of the foliage in the covered plants are still green as it is the grass. Protection against spring freezes is mainly toward flowers and young fruits. Sprinkle irrigation, row covers, or a combination of both are usually used. Rock covers are used as a low tunnel or floating blankets, as shown in the picture. It should be applied in advance to this freezing event. It can give six to eight degrees Fahrenheit of protection. Sometimes thermocouples can be used or are used to monitor the temperature in the flower buds or young fruits. And based on that, deciding when to apply irrigation or not. 
The use of sprinkler irrigation to protect against spring freezes take advantage of the water characteristics. Water temperature is above freezing temperature, 32 degrees Fahrenheit. It releases energy or heat when it freezes. However, it absorbs energy when it evaporates. Therefore, the application rate depends on wind temperature and relative humidity. The dew point or well bulb temperature are used to start the irrigation. The lower the dew point, the higher the temperature water application should start. In the case of well bulb temperature, start just before reaching critical temperature, and for that you need to monitor the temperature. The sprinkler system design is critical to protect against freezes. The distribution as well as the capacity are important. The system should be capable of providing enough water to the whole field simultaneously according to the conditions. For several nights in a row, it should be enough to maintain a layer of liquid water on flowers or ice. This concludes our presentation, and don't forget to contact any of the horticulture specialists in Missouri with any questions you may have on strawberry production or any other subject in horticulture. Thank you.